So, these airplane tracks You know, you hear all sorts of things about them and uh, talking with Hillbilly about them a little bit and he got me kind of curious got to looking into some of this you know all my life I've always seen them and never really given them a whole lot of thought and uh, you know they tell us that it's all it is is water vapor and all this stuff well no engine of any kind produces only water vapor <clears throat> There's other stuff in it too, and uh, you know they're they're saying that the ozone is depleting because of cows farting and because we all need to buy electric vehicles and all this stuff. Well, dumping the exhaust into the upper atmosphere like that that can't help. I mean. They say it's harmless and all this stuff. And I don't know. After looking into it some, it doesn't seem to be harmless. I'll read some of this here in a minute. But it it's something called uh, silver iodide with a D. It's not iodine like what uh, you doctor cuts and things with. It's iodide. But... Uh, they say it's harmless, but then the next little thing I found said it depletes ozone, contributes to global warming, and all that stuff, which, personally, I think that global warming stuff is just a cycle that the Earth goes through anyway, and we're probably not helping it along, you know, as far as making it better, but uh, I think it would do it whether we're here or not. But there is something to the cloud seeding. They've been doing it since about 1940. Well, anyway, here's what I found about that. Okay, it says here, modern jet engines are not that different from automobile engines. Both involve internal combustion and burn fossil fuels. But instead of gasoline or diesel, jet fuel is primarily kerosene, a common home heating fuel used around the world. Just like car engines, Jets emit CO2, nitrogen oxide, sulfur oxides, and soot. <laughs> so, <laughs> they tell us that we can't have our uh, gasoline and, and diesel trucks and cars and things. And we have to go electric. <laughs> would you fly on an electric plane? I don't believe I would. I don't like planes anyway. I don't, I don't fly. I've only done it a couple of times in my life. Like I said, I never really gave a lot of thought to this. The, <laughs> you know, they're pretty good at convincing everybody that these people that point out stuff like this are just a bunch of nutcases and not to listen to them. They're just crazy people and blah, blah, blah. Well, you know, more and more of these crazy conspiracy theories are turning out to be true. And this one, like I said, all my life I've seen airplane tracks, never really gave it much thought. But it's turning out that there is at least some truth to it. Just how much we should worry about it or not, I have no idea. But, you know, if we're doing so much damage to the environment with cows farting and our gas cars and things, dumping... Uh, Chemicals into the upper atmosphere has to, should be really on the list too, but you know full good and well we're not going to stop airplane traffic. The, it's gotten too convenient and people travel all over the world daily. I mean it's a big business and they're not going to give up on that and I haven't heard of any electric planes yet. So anyway here's the first one I found. Cloud seeding. What it says here is cloud seeding is a type of weather modification that aims to change the amount or type of precipitation, mitigate hail or disperse fog. The usual objective is to increase rain or snow 
either for its own sake or to prevent precipitation from then keeps on going uh, so it is a real thing uh, this rain inducing technique called cloud seeding has been around for more than 60 years the process involves seeding existing clouds with a harmless substance harmless called silver iodide to give water droplets a part of, water droplets a particle to converge around allowing them to form an ice crystal okay so harmless right very next thing Silver iodide can break down the ozone molecules in the atmosphere, leading to the depletion of the ozone layer. Ozone depletion can have severe consequences for the environment, including increasing our exposure to harmful ultraviolet radiation and potential for climate change. <laughs> Doesn't sound all that harmless anymore, does it? Uh... It's, cal it's called cloud seeding, and it's nothing new. It's been around since the 1940s, and countries all over the world have been doing it to, for various reasons, most notably China, but it's growing practice in the U.S., especially in the drought-stricken West. It's also surrounded with controversy. So, one more thing to lose sleep over and worry about, right? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not terribly concerned about it. Oh, that was the other thing. But I don't really think it's a good thing either. Um, you know, the if it's been around since 1940s, it's not destroying anything really fast. But... How many jet airlines and things were around in 1940? And uh, every year they keep adding more and more planes and more, you know, they're bigger, they're better, they're putting out a whole lot more of this stuff. And now it sounds like <clears throat> the U.S. is purposely seeding clouds where they didn't before. I have to look up, I haven't scene where it says that this silver iodide is in all jet fuel or if it's something they add just to do this, the cloud seeding but uh, you know this this world is big so if they've been doing this for more than 60 years it would take a little while for it to really have any effect you would think um, so I looked up what is the uh, how many square miles in the Earth's surface, including the oceans? It is 197,000 square miles. The land surface area is uh, 57,268,900 square miles, which is 29% of the total surface of the Earth's planet. So you, you figure... You know, you got, if this is the world, the atmosphere is way up here, so that's even more. That's even more square miles and all that stuff, and it would take a little time to ruin that, but <laughs> kind of sounds like they're doing it. I don't know. Not surprising, is it? So I just started looking into this, and I don't really don't know much about it or what I'm talking about. Uh, Hillbilly and others, they've looked into it quite a little bit. And they know more about it than I do. But, uh, let's see here. Anyway, uh, you know, you used to hear a lot about acid rain and all this stuff, and you don't hear much about that anymore, and I don't know why. Is it, was it real, and, or is it just not talked about? I don't know. But uh, the other thing that he was saying, this, I guess this morning, was that uh, it's actually killing trees. Uh, like I said, I just barely looked into this. I don't know much about it. But we have a lot of dead trees. More so, probably as many dead ones out there now as there are live ones, and might be partly why we have forest fires so much anymore. 
never used to, not like this. Uh, they tell us it's from uh, beetles, it's beetle killed timber they call it. But when I'm cutting firewood and stuff, I never find any beetles. And maybe, you know, splitting firewood and stuff, the bark comes off. And there are some beetle tracks underneath there where you can see where they've tunneled under the bark and stuff. And maybe they leave once the trees are dead. Maybe they're only in the green ones. I really don't know. But, I don't know. It does make you wonder. There goes another one. Kind of, kind of ruins the pretty view when you look at the mountains and then you look up here. I don't know. Is it something or is it nothing? A lot of people on either side of that argument. Anyway, I got to pick up all this metal. And Haul it off, put this stuff away, and then work up this ground. That's one thing, this ground has enough clay in it that right now this is supposed to be sand, and that is, I mean, almost like cement. If I don't break this up, I won't be able to break it up. The plow just skips along on the top. So anyway, I guess the bottom line with all that is that I'm not giving up my gas cars or um, wood stove until they give up their airplanes. Harmless water vapor. You gonna drink that? Me neither. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks, and see you tomorrow. Bye.